And President Biden wants to bring homicide numbers down in this country and hire more police officers. He plans to do it with his $37 billion Safer America plan. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell is joining us live from our newsroom with more on this. And Aaron, the president uh, has obviously a lot he would like to accomplish with this. Well, Ben, it's a very ambitious goal because homicide numbers are up across the country and police departments. They're struggling to hire and it's going to be a major task ahead of the Biden administration. Now, as of this year here in Music City, there have been 79 homicides according to the city's dashboard. And in 2021, there were 101 homicides and Council on Criminal Justice. They found this year that homicides in major U.S. cities climbed by 5% over 2020 and by 44 percent over 2019. Now, the president's crime prevention proposal calls for $13 billion over the next five years for communities to hire and train 100,000 additional police officers. Also, nearly $3 billion to help clear court backlogs and solve murders, according to the White House. Now, President Biden also wants to start a grant program for cities and states to use over the next decade to promote approaches to prevent violent crime or identify nonviolent situations that warrant a public health response with the goal of alleviating the burden on law enforcement officers. In addition, he wants evidence based community violence intervention programs to build up the trust between police officers and the public. When it comes to public safety in this nation, the answer is not defund the police. It's fund the police, fund the police and give them. We expect them to do everything. We expect them to be to protect us, to be psychologists, and to be sociologists. I mean, we expect you to do everything. I'm not joking. Now, the president also plans to ban assault weapons, and he also wants to get drugs off the street, specifically fentanyl or drugs laced with it, because get this, that drug is responsible for over 100,000 deaths in the last 12 months. So a lot of work ahead of the Biden administration.